So let's get into the show with your awesome things of the week. We got a lot of stuff going on. Katie's going to go last. Chilla, what is your awesome thing? So my awesome thing of the week is a nifty little controller. It's made by Horapad, and here is the box. What a the name. Horapad Ultimate. Um, so let me make sure I get this in frame. So you can pick this up at your local Apple store or from pretty much any um, Amazon site. Um, the device itself would remind you of pretty much any modern-day controller. Um, you got your left and right bumpers, your left and right triggers, A, B, X, Y, um, two thumb pads, um, or the two two joystick type things, and then the analog D pad. Um, pairing is super super simple. Um, turn it on and hit the pair button, and it's Bluetooth. Um, I've used it with the Apple TV, with the my iPad, um, and I've used it with my MacBook, um, uh, with some emulators, with some games that support it. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of websites out there that have um, lists and lists and lists of who supports the MFI controller spec from an iOS perspective. Um, has a, a battery life I've been able to play for hours and had zero issue. Um, there is a little a bar on it. The cool thing that I thought was it actually charges over um, lightning connector. So the same mm. connector that you use for your phone or for your for a modern day iPad um, is used for this. And the reason I thought that was kind of cool was because Apple's gone to the same spec on their mouse, keyboard, and trackpad. So it's kind of lowering that number of cables you have to carry with you, especially as we see kind of the, the cable world get fragmented with USB-C. And if you read the news last week about the, the Google employee that fried their Pixel <laughs> by charging it with a um, – cable that I think they got off Amazon or somewhere and it was not made correctly. Um, so with that, I, it, it's kind of nice. I can carry one, one or two cables to connect and charge a multitude of devices. Um, kind of like, of course, like micro USB, but like I said, if I'm already carrying the cables for other things, it, it just makes it, makes it nice and easy. Awesome. So, so with that, like, like I said, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm using, um, it on a couple iOS games, I, uh, the Star Wars Legos works well. Um, I had the, the emulator, um, on Mac works extremely well. It's very easy to map depending on what you're, I mean, I, I've used it to play TurboGrafx 16 games, so it's easy to map everything nice. in. See, now I, I, I'm in the spot where I still haven't bought one for my Fire TV. Uh, but if I do, because I feel like paying like uh, thirty to fifty dollars for 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 uh, a gamepad like this isn't worth it enough for just Fire TV Stick. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm trying to find something that is compatible with both that or Android devices, I guess in general, and also with the Apple TV and the iPhone because I I think it's inevitable I will probably have the newer Apple TV because I really I really it, it fits into what I want to do with with my TV, my gaming, I think. And, and, and it feels like kind of the next step for that. Uh, do you know, is this, I saw this is officially licensed by Apple. Is it Apple only? It is It is currently Apple only. The same company makes one for Android, but it seems like nobody yet is making a device that is cross all platforms. So it's probably, it's probably smart for maybe get like one of the cheaper game pads that's compatible with the stick for now. Uh, so I yeah. can experiment with that until until the day where I get the Apple TV. And I, I actually like the idea of having both because I think there's some interesting stuff on on Amazon, especially Amazon's um, announcing all the time, like somewhere, I think uh, with the um, Unity engine or it was a Crytek. I, I can't remember. Um, but there's a new, you know, uh, uh, there's a new service they were just announcing uh, that takes advantage of their AWS cloud services in gaming uh, that they're trying to bring people in on. And I kind of want to have a toe into that world to see what's going on as well uh so but no that, that that looks like a really cool pad and that ah, geez for not really being in the quote gaming space they got some pretty cool supported project products what are you finding for support like are you finding that there's a lot of games or just games you already bought happen to be compatible i'm finding there's a lot of games out there um i wish there was a better 
a single site here here's if, if you want to send uh, spin up a site that specializes just in what games support the controllers and what the best best ones are there's a handful out there but they're not real well done so it's a it's a corner of the market that's kind of left untapped at this moment um, I found a couple games that I already had um, supported it there I wish there was more support uh, Marvel champions if you're if you're out there please bring support um i'd like to see more side-by-side -side fighter support but like i said there's a lot of the lego games support it um the old uh star wars knights of the old republic supports it and then pretty much a large magnitude of of the mac os support it and then it's pretty clear what what uh apple tv stuff support i think on the ios side is where they kind of lack documentation on the support model maybe that's what i need because I, I, I get a little tired of grabbing my corded xbox controller just to plug it in and play some games on the mac and sometimes it doesn't work mm -hmm. so well so that could be interesting awesome go check that out again it's over on uh, apple's own shop for a pad ultimate wireless game controller 49.95 over there i'm sure you can probably find it a little cheaper on amazon as well you can find it a little cheaper in some places i think and then i actually the one of the reasons that i picked it up too was because it was ten dollars cheaper than their competitors mm -hmm. oh wow so the, the steel series nimbus and stuff like that um the only the only bad rating that i heard and i do kind of agree with is the triggers there's like i would say a quarter of an inch give on the trigger itself mm. before it actually kind of kicks in so it's just some it's just like any other controller it takes a little bit of getting used to the nuance of of how the triggers and how sensitive the buttons are